Hey guys, so I thought I would do a quick like one hour transformation. I'm going to try and make it like half an hour transformation kind of video just because I'm about to go to like a family photo shoot kind of thing. It's like super cute. It's super cute. So um, yeah, I'm in a bit of a rush, but I thought I'd just get ready with you guys basically with my makeup that I'll do for like a photo shoot kind of thing. So yeah, let's get to it. It's going to be a nice quick and upbeat tutorial. Okay, let's go to it. So I've already cleansed and moisturized my skin. I'll leave a like a video up above on like my cleansing routine. For primer today, I'm going to go in with my 100% pure mattifying primer. I love this stuff. Keeps me matte all day. I am oily, so I do need something mattifying on my skin. Just so that you don't get that greasy look. Like I am all about the glow, but not the grease, so... I always like to have something to keep me matte underneath my foundation and I'll just bring it down my neck as well to help create a tacky base for the foundation that I do end up bringing down my body a little bit just so it all meshes together you know. So next I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm just going to set my t-zone area of my face so I really like to do this if I'm wearing my makeup for a long period of time if I know that I may have my oily like um, moments throughout the wear. So if, I, if I'm like wearing my makeup all day or something like that, I don't want any oils like seeping through my foundation. So I will just set my T-zone. So I just grab a big fluffy brush and like just a tiny little bit of that powder and I'll just set with whatever's on the brush just lightly around the center of my face really. A very very light amount. You don't want too much because that's when you can start to look cakey if you have too much powder sitting below liquids. But a little bit's okay. So for foundation today, I'm going to take my Airborne Perfecting Liquid Foundation SPF 15. And it's in the shade Neutral Beige. I have done a review on this foundation. I will leave that link down below as well as in the cards if you guys would like to check that out. Basically, I'm just going to apply this with my beauty sponge. Just all over my face. I don't actually like a thick amount of foundation for like a photo shoot or anything. Like, I'm all about, like, natural beauty. Like, like I'll be glam today. Like, it'll be, like, natural glam, maybe I should say. Not natural beauty. Because I do like a bit of glam. A bit of coverage. You know, not all the imperfections peeking through. But I'm not about, really, the full coverage look. Like, you guys can see my face. Like, I have breakouts and pimples and things. But I don't mind those kind of showing through a little bit. Like, because I will conceal them up. I just not like a heavy amount of product sitting on my face. Like, some people do, some people don't. I'm one of those people that just don't really, you know. So I'll probably just use about, like, one and a half pumps and just apply that over my face in a thin layer. This is a really good foundation coverage-wise. Like, you don't need a lot to get a pretty decent coverage. Um, I don't usually build it up, um, like I said, because I want more of a natural look. I do always make sure to bring it down my neck so that you don't have that little definition sexy mask line going on you know I'm so excited I haven't been like dressed up for like a while and this is like a good occasion to go a bit more like glam so I'm actually so excited <laughs> so you can still see a little bit of redness peeking through I don't usually foundation my eyes foundation my eyes yeah I don't cover like any of the bags or anything I usually just like to do a thin layer of concealer I just find if I have too much like product around my eyes that's when I start to get the creasing and the cakiness and everything so for concealer I'm going to take my instant age rewind concealer this is in the shade medium wham so it's similar to my skin tone I'm not really highlighting today I'm more just going like natural like I've been saying and I just do a thin layer under the eyes and down the center of the face just to conceal up any redness that might be there and then I'll go over any breakouts that I have, you know, peeking through. Just a little bit. Like, if there's a little bit of redness showing through, I'm not going to be upset. Like, it just is what it is. My skin hasn't been fabulous lately just because I've been eating really shocking. Like, a lot of takeout food and it just doesn't agree with me. Like, if I do that a lot of the time, so my skin will break out. Hence, my acne coming back a little bit. So, I've just got to be careful that I don't let it get out of hand again like I did a few years ago. 
So I'm just blending it in with my beauty sponge that I use to blend in my foundation. This is the Eco Tools beauty sponge. I love these sponges. They just do such a great job. And they last a long time. Like I found with the Chi Chi sponges, it just wasn't lasting. Like they kept breaking and deteriorating so quickly. And like getting holes and things. So I just find these these um Eco Tools sponges are a lot better. So I'm loving this coverage, like I do love it. You can still see a few freckles and things poking through, but like no breakouts and things, which is what I like. So we're going to go in with powder, and I'm going to go in with my raw pressed powder in the shade Nude. And on a dry beauty sponge, I'm just going to press that into the areas where I need um, to set the concealer. If you guys are doing your makeup for like a photo shoot or something, you always want to make sure that it doesn't have the flashback in the products. So you want to test it with a flash, like a flash camera, um, just so you know if you are you know, getting your photos taken that you're not going to get that white mask from like your powders or your foundation or anything like that, because that's not what you're going for. You don't want to look like a clown in those photos. So I'm just setting over the center of my face where I can also get oily. I'm a very expressive person, so I do tend to get like smile lines, so I always like to just Kind of set around my mouth as well. To lock my base in place, I'm going to take my Locket Makeup Setting Mist from Kat Von D. And this is like a 24 hour setting mist, so it lasts a fair while. So I really like it. And I like to just apply a setting mist through kind of each layer. So I've set my base in place with the powder, then I'll go in with like um, bronzer and highlight and stuff, and then I'll set that in place. And then at the end I'll also set my face in place. I just find doing it a few times really locks it all in and it won't move or budge and I won't get oily. For bronzer I'm going in with my usual like NYX contour and highlight kit. And I'm going to take the two kind of bronzy shades on the palette and start warming up the complexion. So I am in the market for like a new bronzer guys so if you have any recommendations let me know. Because I am looking to try out one even if you know if it's um like from a natural beauty brand as well that would be even better that would be so good if you have a really good recommendation um yeah just let me know in the comment section below like i do like this nyx contour and highlight one but i mean i use it all the time i'd like to try out something new i always just bring it down my neck a little bit too to kind of even it out so it's not all just focused on the face especially when you are taking photos it'll look a bit funny and to contour today, I'm going to take my breakup powder from Makeup Geek. It's a nice cool tone brown shade. I'm going to take that on a contour brush from NP Set. And just kind of chisel out the cheekbones. And I just like to hug the cheekbones. So I kind of pat it on just underneath and kind of around um, the cheek area. I don't really like having that stark line just sitting there. I'd rather... It kind of look more like natural and just curve, like hug the cheekbone. And I always blend it up into the bronzer. If you blend it down, you're going to lose that um, contour. It's just going to look more like a beard. <laughs> For blush today, I've been loving this sh shade Infatuation from Makeup Geek. I always go to this blush shade. It's just it's so pretty. It's such a flattering shade on like all skin tones, basically. And I'm just applying it to the contours of the cheeks. I like to go quite heavy handed on blush um, just because it fades, like it's one of those products that will fade the fastest over time. So you always want to go like a little bit heavier handed on your blush and as it starts to sink into the skin more it will tone down, like the colour will definitely tone down quite a fair bit. I'm going to go in and set my face again with my Kat Von D Locket setting spray. I do this before highlight just because it makes the highlight pop so much more. So I'm going to my usual highlight palette. I'm going in the Violet Voss Highlighting Trio and taking the shade Star Glow um, to kind of give it a highlight to my bronzer area. Just give it a bit more tone because it is a kind of medium golden shade rather than a really stark highlight. I just do a touch on the cheeks, just like where the bronze is and then whatever's left on the brush, I'll just hit the sides of the temples. Then to kind of build on that highlight, I'm going to take Moon Gleam from the palette, which is the lightest shade, and apply that just to the high points of the face, like my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. And then I'll go in and set my face again. So for the eyes today, I'm going to keep it pretty neutral, just so a lot of you guys can kind of wear this look, and I think it's a lot easier to like replicate. 
Whereas a lot of you guys aren't confident with colour. I feel like colour for a photo shoot just... I don't think it's the most flattering. I think having something quite soft, sultry, smoky, natural is the best in my opinion. So I'm going to be going for the transition shade. So on a fluffy brush I'm going to take that like medium tone brown which is a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone and use that as my transition shade. And I'm keeping that focus through the upper crease area so not on the lid. And next I'm going to take a deeper brown shade from the same Morphe palette on a petite crease brush and place that on the outer V area of my eye and through the crease. I'm just slowly applying that brown into the crease just a little bit at a time and using soft little windscreen wiper circular motions to blend it out. This look is probably similar to a couple looks I've done in the past. I just think something neutral, easy, like easy to achieve, you know. Something without a million different shadows in it is just something you can go to on an everyday basis as well as like photo shoots, you know, going out to dinner, you know, going to the office, like it's just something so wearable and sorry about the aeroplane. And like easy to achieve, like and it looks good on everybody because it's just a neutral kind of smoky eye. I'm just taking that fluffy blender brush again and just softening the edges. For the lash line area, I'm going to do like a smoky liner look. So I'm going to grab like a little angled brow brush and this deep brown shade. I'm just pressing it along the lash line on the outer like eye area. And I'm not bringing it past about the centre of my eye, so about two thirds of the way across. I just want to keep it focused on the outer portion of the eye to keep the eyes open still. Whereas if I bring it all the way in, it will close them off. And I always make sure to angle the tail of the like the wing of my eye up towards the tail of my brow so try and keep them even but then I'll grab a pencil brush and some of this like maroni brown shade and I'll just smudge that along the brown like eyeshadow and it's a lot softer than using like a brown eye coal or anything you're just using eyeshadow and it's super easy to just kind of replicate especially because using eyeshadow you don't have to be like super neat or anything as if you would like if you had a winged like liquid liner or something it's just super easy and quick gives you that like sultry sexy look and it's really appropriate for daytime as well for the shimmer on the lid i'm going in with this rose gold shade from my chi chi palette and i'm just doing a wash of that over the lid so i'm not like doing a like stark cut crease with that i'm just doing a wash of that rosy gold shadow and even dipping in and taking some of Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek, I'm going to apply that to like the inner third of my eye. And then taking some of this like pink shimmery shade from the Chi Chi palette and placing this on the outer part of my eye. And just taking some of that brown again and just bringing it back over the top of the shimmer. For my bottom waterline, I'm adding a nude eye coal to really open up the eyes. Then from the Chi Chi palette, I'm going to grab that neutral brown shade. It's like a saddle brown shade almost. And I'm just placing that on the outer third of the eye. And then smoking out with some of this light orange shade. I'm going in with a hint of an orange undertone, just because orange really complements brown eyes. Actually, it complements quite a fair, like blue as well. Like blue eyes, orange really goes well because it's like the opposite colour of like the colour spectrum but I've just found in the past like, I get so many compliments if I wear like a touch of orange just on my eye makeup somewhere and I'm just going to grab some moon gleam on my inner corners and a touch on my brow bone just on the very highest point for mascara and lashes today I'm going in with my colossal mascara from Maybelline and for lashes, I'm going in with the Temptress Wispy ones from House of Lashes. I know I say this on like every tutorial, but like they're just so wispy. They're like a my lashes, but better kind of lash, like lash style, because they're just so wispy, but they don't cover up too much. Just add a little bit of extra something, you know. So I'm going to go get like my hair done and get changed and I'll do my lip to like finish off this makeup look so I'll just be right back in a second, honey, yeah. Well I'm back guys, so for lipstick today I'm going to take my Clear Message um, Liquid Lip from Zoeva. 
And this completes the transformation makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give a big likes up if you did, and a big thumbs up if you did, and subscribe down below to stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. I love you all guys so much, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.